Hi there, and welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, have you ever said this out loud, but immediately you added something to it, maybe not quite as out loud? Where he leads, I will follow eventually. There's an old joke that talks about two boys engaged in an argument in the classroom. And when the teacher looks their way, one boy whispers to the other, meet me out in the playground after school and we'll settle this like men. The other boy cheekily replies, well, fine. If I'm not there in 10 minutes, start without me. Now, God's not calling us to a fist fight. However, how many times did God invite us to join with him only to be met with a similar response on our part. Yeah, you go ahead, God, and I'll catch up with you when it's more convenient, it's not so scary, it won't cost me as much, no one is looking, everyone is looking, when it looks like no one else will do it, and, I and I'm the only one left. When somebody goes first and comes back with a good report, when there's a team going with me that is better suited for my working style, when I have better equipment, when I am more fit, more thin, or more fat, when I have had all the rest that I need, when I have my five-year plan in place, when I paid all my debts, when my kids are growing and out of the house, when I'm retired, when, when, when. But Jesus beckons us in the same way that he beckoned his disciples. Those disciples did not hesitate. Although they didn't yet know Jesus as friends, they knew they were compelled and they must follow. Here's an example. Matthew 4, verse 18 to 22. While walking by the sea, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is now called Peter, and Andrew, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen, so they were at work. And he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately, they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he came across two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee and John, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, and they were mending their nets. And Jesus called them. Immediately, they left their boat and their father, and they followed after him. So, what is holding you back? What has God asked you to do? And what has he invited you to do? There's a saying in Youth with a Mission that says, any delayed obedience is the same as disobedience. Yes, there is preparation that is needed when God calls us out to do something, but we can't use that preparation time as an excuse from doing what God has called us to do. So today, here's the challenge. Is there a phone call that you know that you need to make? Is there an email that you need to send? Are there people that the Lord has asked you to contact and you have not done so? Is there something that he has invited you to do and you have refused his invitation because you don't feel qualified? All those excuses need to be brought before the cross and you need to repent from those things. You need to step out. And when you do that, you are going to be going on the greatest adventure of your life. 